Oh, hey guys, how you doing there? Just doing a little bit of dusting before I do a review. Oh, that's, that's not my Swifter. That's, that, that's, that's Duster in the ghillie suit. I'm, I'm sorry. Sometimes I get them confused. They look so much alike. Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at the Action Force version 2 blowback with ghillie suit, sniper rifle, and three different heads. This is a deluxe, which comes with the hefty price of $55. Now, is it worth it? We're going to find out. I mean, hey, everyone's worth is something different, but quickly uh we'll take a look at this figure we will compare it to the uh first blowback which i have over here um blowback is almost a perfect figure the original one so i'm hoping that this is just as good uh if not better than that one it's hard to top an almost perfect figure but anyway so we'll look at this we got this big packaging here big window here uh he is camouflage camouflage face He's got a second uh, second head. Actually, the one he has on right there, he's uh, closing his eye. He's not really blinking or winking. He's closing his one eye so he can uh, shoot or scope stuff out. you got the balaclava head. Uh, you've got this, it almost looks like a hunting rifle with this case that looks like it could be picked up at Dollar General. So we'll take a look at it. Hopefully it looks nicer than what I see here. I mean, you know, we've had the G.I. Joe one come out, and it's really nice. So, anyway, let's get to this figure here. Like I said, we'll compare them. There we got some nice artwork on the side that he's uh, doing his sniper. He's got the ghillie suit on. Here we have the actual figure, the file card, which I do like. Uh, it is all in one language. I have not read them. I really don't read them, to be honest. Not that I can't read. I just don't read them. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so there it is. You can kind of see him in the grass with the ghillie suit. So let's take a look at this, compare it to the other one, see how good it is, and um, we'll go from there. All right, so we got Duster out of his packaging, and here's everything that you're going to get. You're going to get a very nice stand if you like stands. Again, you guys all know my feelings on stands in general, but I'm not a big fan of the Action Force stands. If you're going to be using them to pose, I think they're really good if you're going to put the file card here because it's a slot for the file card for different spots. And if you want a very basic vanilla pose, I think they're really good. They say action force on it. They look nice, but they just have a really big footprint. I don't use stands to begin with, so I definitely won't be using that. Um, we got a multitude of hands like in every Valiverse that you get. So here we got the two cupped hands. We have the thumb wrestling hands, and then we got the two punching hands. He also comes with his microphone and uh, headset, headset and microphone, which I really do like. It, it fits on pretty much any figure, and all you got to do is put it over the ears. Uh, much better than helmet, in my opinion. So I really do like these. I have them on a couple of my uh, uh, Action Forest and G.I. Joe figures, so I do like that. Um, here we have the helmet. Now, I don't see any uh, night vision with it. But if you do have an extra one, you can just plug it in here. And then you've got the earpiece here. And these do come off. So you can swap them with the microphone if you so please and they just kind of go they plug into the back like this i'm not a fan of these i don't think I, I i have them on any figures uh to be honest but they plug into the back if i remember correctly yeah so they plug on like this they are big uh, again what's nice is that you know they're, they're realistic but i'm not a fan of the helmets to begin with uh, I can't think of any of my figures if they even have the helmets. They don't look bad. I'm going to kind of plug it on here and you can see. Oh, you kind of see. I guess you're going to have to do it while it's on. Again, real world, if you uh, 
if you're just new to the channel, if you're new to this review, this is how I like to do my reviews straight out of the box. So, I don't know. It doesn't seem to fit all that well. <laughs> it kind of looks like Patrick Mahomes' helmet. Uh, his helmet never seems to fit now, does it? So, I don't know. I don't really like the way that looks. I don't know why. Normally, their helmets seem to fit much, much better. So, I'm not really sure what's up with this. Maybe it's just his hair. Uh, not not a great fit. Anyway, but you do get the helmet. The helmet's not bad. I've used it in other figures. Uh, we can grab this this head of his. Maybe it fits better on on that head. Yeah, who knows? You've seen enough reviews, and I'll post a link to this other uh, to the last blowback. So you do get another rifle. So here's a different one and. His original one he comes with this wonderful m4 which i absolutely love it does have a removable magazine now unfortunately i think the magazine is just way too small uh, most people have had that same criticism criticism of it the gun itself i think looks decent uh, it's pretty large but i'm not sure how it scales in real world you do get some nice paint apps so you have this dark green you get a light green and then you got the black on the scope uh, and the edge of the uh, the stock in between where it's going to extend. Now this one doesn't extend. And on the grip and uh, your magazine, obviously. And on the figure, you have multiple magazines that do come out. So you want to do action action shots. If you're doing photography like that, you can swap them. All right. So let's get to this rifle before we get to the figure. And quickly, it's already put in the case, and we'll kind of close it up, and it does seem very cheap. It's very large. I mean, they're going to be running around with this, and I know people aren't going to like, and I didn't bring it up here. Uh, a lot of people won't like that you can pair it to low light, but the low light sniper rifle, it just, to me, it, it's so much better. It's smaller than this. Is it real world? I, I'm not sure. I can't imagine that in this day and age, you know, they're still running around with these, you know, big, I believe they're Pelican cases. Uh, it does snap together, so it does hold together, so I don't have a problem with that. But it feels very cheap and chintzy, and again, I've heard other people refer to it as a dollar store. I can't really argue with it, that's kind of how it feels. All right, so... Here we have our, uh, I don't want to call it a scope, but it's some sort of, it's not a binocular because it's not two. <laughs> anyway, it does clip on to this. And this is the site that they're going to be using, that they're going to be looking through. Now, I love the concept of this. I don't think anyone else has given us something like this. Uh, it does look really nice. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't flip up. I'm assuming this is supposed to flip up. But anyway, you can peek through it. It's got the black on it, so it does have some paint apps. And it does kind of screw, I believe. It looks like it screws, so you can raise it and lower it. Yeah. So if you want to raise it and lower it, you can do so like that. I think you can. I think it's raising and lowering. Well, maybe not. It just spin. So it looks like it's supposed to raise and lower. That's unfortunate. But and then it does just kind of collapse. It just pops down, and then collapses back in, and it plugs in there. Then we got this sniper rifle, which oh, I mean, this is. So the barrel seems pretty flimsy, and when you're pulling it out, if you pull it on the wrong in the wrong way, it definitely bends. Kind of worries me that it's going to break. So, what you have is the collapsed the collapsed bipod, and then you have the open bipod. So, you have this case, and it has two places to hold the two different bipods and in real i'm assuming in the real world you wouldn't be taking off a collapsed bipod and putting another one on so why do you have a case that has one that is collapsed it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense but let's 
No, we're just gonna overlook it right now. So look at this rifle. I think it looks pretty nice. It's got the camouflage on it. It's got a nice scope on it. And again, there's the collapsed bipod. I'd rather just not even have it, the collapsed. Just have this there. So there, that's how you're gonna shoot with it. It does have a have a port for blast effects, obviously. So we're gonna see how this fits in his hand. See how he can peek through it. Hopefully, it's not a problem. And then we have Duster's head. On Duster's head. I'm sorry, Blowback's head. And from what I can tell, this is just a camouflage painted head. Not even anything that's different from this one. Uh, although I think the hair and the realism on this, I thought this was one of the best heads I've ever seen. This one, not so much. Now, looking at both of these here, I do have a problem with something. So let's look at the balaclava head. We've seen this a thousand times already. All right, camouflage looks nice. You can see his eyes and his, and his face. I don't know why he wouldn't camouflage that or put black around it, but... So, quickly looking at this figure here, and here's the one eye, and here is uh, the eyes opened. I understand, and I've never camouflaged my, my face, but this camouflage is too perfect. And what I mean by that is, I don't think you're going to get this perfect camouflage, like right there, if you were doing this and you're doing a sniper mission with a ghillie suit you're gonna have your face painted up but it's not gonna be absolutely perfect to look exactly to look exactly like the suit you're wearing i mean that would take a makeup artist but that's how the face looks i guess from a distance i guess if someone doesn't point it out maybe you're gonna think it's amazing i'm just not feeling it at all it, it, it looks too perfect uh, you know, like I, I complained about, you know, Flint's, uh, Tiger Force Flint's paint looking like it's a, <laughs> some kid putting a mask on with paint. This is just the exact opposite. Anyway. All right. So let's take a look at this figure. We're going to get to the ghillie suit. Don't worry. I haven't forgot about that bad boy. All right. So look at the articulation and we have the... You guys all know my, my, my frustration. So there's your T-pose, okay? If you want to get a full T-pose, you have to completely turn this because, see this? It has this dumb ass overhang. So when you try and go up all the way, it is obstructing it. There's no way to get around it. You can kind of get up like that, but it's not going up more than that. This is in the way, and it looks stupid. I hate that. You have a... Bicep swivel, double pinless joints, wrist swivels here. So again, here I am. I'm in Michigan. It was sitting outside. You have your butterfly. You do have this big uh, plate carrier. You get your Jean-Claude Van Damme right there. Now you can't really see it, but it does have the belly dancer right here. They do pivot back and forth. Oh, kind of tight, though. Head turns back and forth. Good looking up, I'll say that. You're really going to need this for sniping. Kind of been one of my complaints with some of the snipers um, in other lines. So that looks like we're probably going to get a good, good amount of range right there. There's your thigh swivel. This is not nearly as smooth as uh, the original SDS series. So everything is almost the exact same. And I didn't have to heat anything up. It doesn't feel like it's going to break, but they definitely are tight. I will say this, this drop down hip is really just, just that. <laughs> Dropped down to the point where uh, it kind of worries me. All right. So we're going to look at the camouflage. I was kind of talk, I already talked about the, about the paint. You can see that he is... He's not winking. He's just has one eye shut. And it is a different face sculpt. It is extremely close. All right. 
Uh, at first I thought maybe it was just that it was painted, but if you look at it, you can actually see, let me get a close up here. You can see where the seam is for the eyelid, the eyelids closing and connecting. So from what I can tell here, again, one of my favorite figures of theirs, <clears throat> they do give them a different plate carrier. Now these plate carriers are the same, just have different accessories for the most part. Knife is here, rather than having the two magazines here, they put it up here and they give them the magazines down here. And you can also see that the antenna broke because it's just too rigid. That's not my original one. But quickly looking at them, wonderful paint as always. Don't really have an issue with that. These magazines do come out. So you get your knife that comes out. Couple little paint apps on it. You got your black and your uh, beige. The magazines, which both do come out. Again, you'll have so many magazines if you buy weapons packs, different things like that. And then you have your pistol, which I really do like this pistol. It's smaller. I love the, uh, the holster here. So they did give him different, uh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> they have him a different, a different plate carrier. But from what I can tell here, between these two, quickly looking at it, he has the rolled up sleeves here. No rolled up sleeves there. They do have the same head if you use this one and they both come with this balaclava. But he does come with the new head. The plate carriers are different because of uh, the, not the glue, but how he changes them. They're, they're interchangeable. No, um, no holster on, on the leg because it is on his side here. And he doesn't have the magazines here because they're on his plate carrier. What he doesn't have is a med pack of any type. So he does have different boots. So there probably is a reason for having different boots. But as you can look, you have camouflage all the way down to the boots. Uh, boots are the exact, the shoelaces are the exact same color. I'm assuming that's how it's supposed to be uh, and not just like, let's say, black through it where we would wear in the real world. <laughs> and on the back here, we do have the radio. Now, when you do have this, this plate carrier and you have this radio, you are not getting a backpack on it. Just not possible. All right. And now we will get to what everyone paid $55 for, and that is the ghillie suit. And yes, if you don't, come on, if you don't think that, that they missed a huge opportunity not making Duster with the ghillie suit, because yes, it looks like a Swiffer. Again, this is a brand new Swiffer. I haven't used it yet, but once I use it, it's going to look the exact same. Uh, maybe not as broken up but look at that it's pretty much the exact same thing this one smells much nicer than this one so here's how the ghillie suit's going to go on they do give you some instructions here that show you how to put the ghillie suit on now i'm just thinking well if you can't figure out how to put this on you're an idiot all right so get to get the ghillie suit on here we go now, first you gotta take the plate carrier off. As you can see the antenna is already bending. So you gotta pop his head off. Now they have gotten better with these uh, plate carriers, the overlays, the secondaries, whatever you want to call them, where they pop on a little bit easier. Or the mushrooms go back in easier. But if you're ever having an issue, everyone says, oh, you know what, heat it up. No, no, no. Heat up this side and then push this side through while this is still uh, cold or harder. Because if they're both soft, they won't smush in properly. All right, so, ghillie suit. Throw the head on here. And I can tell you right now, this stuff's already going all over. This stuff is completely flaking off. You take this off more than a few times, I have a feeling, 
uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be all over the place. This thing's going to look like just, well, I'm not really thrilled with this already to begin with. All right, so there we go. So this thing kind of slides all the way up. And then, yeah, your arms. You kind of got to make sure this thing goes up all the way, from what I can tell. And then, slide the arms in. I, mean, I just don't think there's a, a good way to do a ghillie suit at this size, to be honest. At least nothing that I've really seen. Uh, I know one other company has done one, uh, and I haven't messed around with theirs. I've seen other reviews and seen people that have talked about it. It's just really hard to do, especially when you see how a, really, how a real ghillie suit looks. So, But this thing here... It's kind of got the hood, so now it can go over. And now you have a nice, perfect little Swiffer right there, right? I guess it doesn't look absolutely awful, but it's already, I mean, the stuff's just flaking right off. This is not me taking and ripping off pieces. There's pieces on the floor already. It's its all over the place. It's, it's absolutely... Oh, I, I, I absolutely hate it. It's it's going to be like glitter. You know, if you have little girls at home, uh, you know, daughters, it's going to be like glitter. So, you know, try and take the rifle, get the rifle back in the hand. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm not, not overly impressed with this. And by overly impressed, I mean it's... I don't know. You can see this thing just comes right out. The gun handle is just, it's just too big. <laughs> just doesn't really fit all that great. So. It, it, it's very difficult to try and pose. Uh, I had to go back. Yeah. So. That's how the ghillie suit goes on. I'm not a big fan of it. Again, pieces just keep coming off. I was hoping that it was going to be made a little bit better than this. But I can't see myself really using this. You know, there's no way you're going to wash it. So if you get it dirty, good luck. And you have this plate carrier. And again. Goes back on fairly easy here. Like so. And then you have these two spots. And again, these usually punch in fairly easy. Now, the original ones were really, really bad. He redesigned them. But again, if you're having a problem, heat this side up, not the ones with the mushrooms, and it will push right in. And then we pop this thing on. So. There's your ghillie suit. Again, you're supposed to take the plate carrier off. Or else this is going to be completely in the way. The hood's not going to go over. Uh, seems like a lot. So, there you go with that. So, let's take a look at the head. How easy does the head come off? Head pops off. Super easy. And then we can throw... This one on shouldn't have any issues. I've never really had too many issues. You had a nice little pop as it went back on. All right, so now we have the exact same head that is here. It does look different because of how it's painted, but looking at it, I believe it is the exact same head. That's kind of loose up there too. Anyway, hands. How easy did they come off? Fairly easy. You got to put some. You got to put some uh, effort into it. There's no doubt about that. So these cupped hands here, these cupped hands are made so you can hold it. But I hate these things. It is way easier to either, pr or way better to pry these open. All right, this way. That's what I do anyway. 
to pry these open and then hold the actual rifle. It holds it in place, it stays in place. If you use this hand, the problem is this, this arm will move. Now, that is if you're into posing. If you don't care about posing, then you know what? Do whatever you want, I don't care. <laughs> All right, so let's go with the sniper rifle. Actually, I'm gonna put the eye on. I'm sorry, the, it's not blinking. It's just the one eye closed head. All right. So. Let's pry the hand open. Ooh, it opened up really nice. So that's good. That's a plus. All right. Hand opened up really easily. And again, if you're new to the channel, if you're the first time you're watching a review, or maybe you've watched me do other reviews, I like to show you how easy things are to do right out of the box. All right. There are wonderful, wonderful review channels that have everyone posed uh, as they're talking to you about it. I want you to see what it's like, how much difficulty you're going to have. Are you going to struggle? I'm struggling to get this stupid gun in. Well, that's Roman. If anyone's wondering, if you're new to the channel and you don't know who Roman is, he's my dog. And he is basically the mascot of the channel. Oh, wow. Well, this gun sucks. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's not easy to put the gun in here. I guess we'll use that later. All right? I guess we'll, when I do my pictures, I'll take time. As you can see, getting that sniper rifle, not easy. Not easy at all. Well, I think I broke his fingers, maybe. They... Now, look how easy that went in. All right? That went on extremely easy. All right? So what I'm talking about prying this open. So I feel like these guns sometimes are maybe just a little too big. Well, if you pry this open, like so, then you can actually grab the weapon. Now, I hate this weapon because this piece is in the way. Now, maybe in the real world it's good, but in an action figure it sucks because I can't really get the hand there because your arm only extends so far. So... Yeah, man, I'm disappointed. And this is 55 bucks. I feel like I just flushed down the toilet. I'll tell you what, that... Ugh, that swarm better fucking glow. All right. So... You know what? Getting these guys into a posing picture... Posing isn't so easy. I've had it much easier with different figures. Also, because of the plate carrier and where the knife is, it really makes it hard to run across. This thing is hard and stiff. Anyway, leg is loose. I don't know. This is poor quality right now. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, I'm not very happy with this. I don't think it was designed very well. Uh, looking at this thing here, again... It looks like it should come from the dollar store. If this is what... I mean, I don't know what's, what made this thing $55. Uh, again, more repaints. Uh, one new head that was designed with a... You know, with this blink... You know, with this blinking... With his eye shut. This case was designed from, I don't know, Dollar General. You get the new rifle that I'm struggling to get his hand in. I don't... You watch my other reviews, you can see... I can usually get figures in pretty easily. I, I don't I don't know where. I don't know where fifty five dollars is. That's all that I know. I don't know where fifty five dollars is. You know what? I, I'll tell you what. I buy Mythic Legions. I know where my fifty five dollars is, and I get a lot less. All right. You know what? I'm gonna wrap it up. You guys have seen everything. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys make your decision. Okay, so my initial thoughts on this blowback version 2 with the ghillie suit is, I think it's trash. I'm sorry. I, I haven't been this vocal about too much of the stuff. I'm so disappointed in this. This is just purely a, a repaint, and I just don't see how things work. Uh, the figure seems looser than the other ones. I don't like the pan on the face, which I pointed out. The ghillie suit is really cheap, and pieces are already falling off of it. The gun case is absolutely garbage and the sniper rifle which looks more like a hunting rifle 
again, is almost too big and doesn't seem to fit that easily in their hand. Now, I mentioned how I like the way the neck goes up, and normally I'm pretty pretty happy with the Valiverse figure, but this here, I'm just, I'm, this is $55 that I feel like I threw down the toilet uh, to buy a Swiffer. All right, so that's my review of the blowback with ghillie suit again obviously i'm not very happy with it i think it's trash just i mean i'm sorry i haven't been that vocal about anything but i, I just think it's trash uh 55 dollars. I, I don't know you already watched the review i'm gonna get out of here Listen, i'm not gonna waste any more time if you like it great hey you know what check out hella dope toys use my code a punk with toys which is a p w t you get 10 percent off this is gonna save you a few dollars if you really want this hey you know what maybe someone's gonna have a better experience than i am if you are good for you man i hope everyone has better experiences than i do hey i've had bad experience with figures doesn't mean i will never buy the line again or that brand again but this one just very disappointed so anyway i'm gonna get out of here take a second if you like this content if you like what i've given you what you like what i'm showing you take a second hit that subscribe button hit that like button Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a G.I. Joe video. I'm talking really fast because I feel like I need to get out of here. But anyway, uh, before I leave, don't go anywhere, okay? You like this content up here is the original blowback, which is amazing. And here's all the other Valiverse figures that I've reviewed. Take care.